Then I'm going to be setting the highlighted area with a powder. This is <laughs> Today I have a makeup tutorial and I'll, my model is my sister-in-law, Trisha. Say hi. hi! So I'm going to start off with her foundation. Um, I'm going to prep her skin so I'm going to use the Maybelline uh, Baby Skin. Foundation, it's the golden beige. I'm going to be using Jazzy uh, Photo Ready Foundation. So I'll be using this shade right here. It's a bit light. Then I'm going to be using the stamp sponge again to blend everything out. I'm going to blend the uh, concealed highlights areas first. Then I'm going to blend out the contoured areas using the same damp sponge. highlighted area with a loose powder. This is the BYS loose powder in light medium. So I'm just going to be using a wedge sponge. Try to look up. Then I'm going to bake. Magluluto na. Charot. <laughs> so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do her brow so she has really, really bushy brows. brows are done um, they're too much but it's okay because there's a purpose for that after so I'm gonna be doing the eyes now and then um, I'm gonna be using my morphe 35 0 palette so I'm gonna be setting first the the shadow the base for the makeup so I'm using this shade right here this one Then 
then for the transition shade, I think I'm going to be using this color right here so because it's more of a orangey golden color. Okay. So I'm going to be uh, putting a darker shade. I think I'm going to be using this color here. So let's try to see how it looks. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to be blending out the edges using a blending brush just to clean it up a bit. I'm going to be putting the Stila, uh, what is this, Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. So this is the star of the show. So close your eyes. Because it is like amazing shadows. putting a shadow underneath the eyes. I'm gonna put this one, this shade right here. So put them also the eyes. That's good. Then for the inner corner I'm gonna put this shade right here. Okay. Feel. So I changed my mind, I'm going to be putting this shade. This is the Dino Stress Lustrous Highlighter in Cassiopeia. So this is really intense. And just going to put it on the inner corner to give it a pink fun of us. So I'm going to be... Uh, lining her eyes, her waterline. For mascara, I'll be using the Baby Lead Colossal Mascara. Let's just sit straight. Gonna line the eyes with a black eyeliner. I'm using the LA Girl um, gel liner. So close. So I'm gonna be putting on some lashes now. Where are the lashes? I don't know which one to put. I think these ones are good. Okay, so I'll just put them off camera. Okay, so I'm going to clean up the baked areas now. Then I'm going to apply translucent powder. Chicher. Charut. Let's see. Da da. gonna be putting on some blush. Beautiful blush. <laughs> mm, cotton blush. Duh. Okay. <laughs> Lift the contour. Next, 
I'm going to be deepening up the contour. I'm using the NYX Contour Palette. And I'm using this cool toned contour shade. Just deepening it up a bit. Ready to shove a Barbie. <laughs> highlighting and I'm going to be using this sleek highlighting palette. It's called the Solstice. And these are the shades. Ta-da! Because I like, you know, it's so intense. So I'm going to be bronzing her up. Like, eh? It's like, eh! Eh! Wet look, Charlotte. Another! No, no, because Okay, a nose. Nose! Deep plus a nose. I don't want the two. Then a ridge. Okay. Wet look. Cha. Cha cha cha. Napa dili. Napa dili. Napa. Napa dili. Napa dili. Napa dili. Napa dili. Napa Shoot. I'm gonna put some on her clavicle, then here, and the other parts. The other two. And the other girl. I want to go. I want to go. I want to go. I want So for the lips, I'm going to be using these two shades. These are Colourpop. This is in Lights Out and Strip. So I'm going to put on Strip first. And then I'm going to put Lights Out um, on top. Then I'm going to be putting on Lights Out on top. It's actually just on the middle part, just to give it a bit of a shine. Right? I don't. Eat oil. What's up? I'm like, it's wet. Charan. Charut. So that's the secret to giving you the wet turbaness. You just need really intense highlighters. <laughs> so I just added oil to her hair just to give it a wet kind of look and just popped on some earrings and then we're done. <laughs> to let share it. Yeah. 